Hey y'all, Miss Gina Brown here with my brand new blue light glasses that I'm obsessed with y'all, except for the fact that I feel like my ears are not even. Look at this, because my glasses are sitting on my face, but they're definitely uneven, which makes me worried a little bit about my face. <laughs> okay y'all, so um, seventh period, we did this today, Thursday. But fourth and fifth period, we are going to do this tomorrow. So keep in mind, I'm looking at seventh period. I got to take these off because they're literally so crooked. Um, seventh period, we did this on Thursday. And then fourth and fifth period, we're doing this on Friday. So just keep that in mind as I am looking through and showing you this. So you always come in, you hit the week two button. And then starting next week, y'all, you're going to hit the week three button. And then you are going to come right to the day of the week um, that we're doing. So Thursday meetup, August 27th for 7th period, and this will be Friday, August 28th's material for my 4th and 5th period class. So don't forget that your bio poem was due. So especially if you were 7th period, your bio poem was due yesterday because um, we did it yesterday in class. And then same thing with my 4th and 5th period classes. So you want to make sure that your bio poem is done, your revised amped up bio poem. So the one that you fixed the three words and went from good to better. So make sure you pop them in the Padlet so we can have it to save for later. And then y'all, what we did um, in class as the opener today and what we're going to do on Friday for fourth and fifth was would you rather. Um, so this was so much fun, y'all. We did um, like you asked a question. So we'll do one together right now. So you ask a question and you turn your camera on if you would choose the option on the left and then you keep your camera off if you would choose the option on the right. So it's kind of cool because we got to see like everybody together, like how many people kept their camera on and off. So we'll do a couple together um, to kind of show you all what we did. So if you'd rather be transported, I love this one, 500 years in the future permanently, you're going to turn your camera on. But if you'd rather be transported 500 years permanently, backwards, then you would keep your camera off. So that's pretty cool. Um, I picked 500 years backwards because I don't know, y'all. It makes me anxious because I don't know what the future is going to look like, especially with the pandemic and the way things are now. Like, I want to go back to the way things were. I want to walk outside without my mask on. I want to be able to share drinks with people again. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's gross. Don't do that. Okay. Next one. Um, would you rather give up junk food forever or be able to use your cell phone for only 10 minutes a day. I mean, I truthfully would pick camera off because I'd rather eat junk food all the time. And I need to be off my phone. So somebody needs to tell me I only have 10 minutes a day and maybe I'd get more work done, right? Yeah. So that's what we did. There was literally, I don't know, 15 of them. So we went through and we did that um, pretty much first half of class. So that was cool. It was a nice little team breaker. Team breaker. Team building icebreaker. Um, okay, so assignment alert. Assignment alert. Um, Y'all have to get your All About Me page personalized on your e-binder. So that very front page, um, you want to get it personalized on your e-binder. So I'm going to click this screenshot um, to see your example. So it says I need access, y'all. Boo-hoo. So I'm going to pull it up on mine because I saved it. So I'm going to type in sites. So this is a great way, y'all, if you bookmark then you're able to go through this and you're able to see um, kind of what you've saved. So I am going to go to my Google Sites, so sites.google.com. And this is awesome because it has all of your Google Sites saved. Um, so this is a really little nice tip for you to be able to find what you need. So these are kind of all my Google Sites that I've created. Um, and then these are all Google Sites that have been shared with me, so all of my little loves. So I'm gonna click Avid Digital XP Binder which is my all about me page for my Avid eBinder. And y'all, this is perfect because I don't have it saved, so I'm gonna show you what to do. <clears throat> so you go up to this corner, you hit that star, and then it's saved under Google Sites, and I'm gonna type in Avid eBinder. So this way, from now on, I'm gonna X out to show you exactly what you do and how easy it is. You open up a new one and you type in that phrase, Avid eBinder, and look what pops up, bing. Bang, boom, my Avid eBinder. Um, it says template, so we'll open it up and see if it's still the template or if it's my Avid eBinder. Let's see. 
Hmm, the suspense is killing me, but I'm at the beach, so it's okay. Y'all, the struggle is real. Like, the struggle is real. So this is my Avity Binder that I created. So y'all see that if you star it, <clears throat> makes it a lot easier to find it for later. So this is what y'all are going to do. Sorry, my nose is itchy. I feel like every time I film, my nose gets itchy and my ears. So weird. Okay. So pop a picture of you. <clears throat> Say your name, where you're located. Um, I put what school district I was from because we did this as like an opener for everybody. Um, and I put years in education. But y'all can just put a couple fun facts about yourself. And then a hero I admire. Um, <clears throat> I love Mr. Neil deGrasse Tyson. He's amazing. He is this awesome scientist that, like, if you don't understand something, you just watch a video about him or him telling you, and it's like all of a sudden it just makes sense. He just has this way about him um, and this passion for science that I love. And, y'all, I got to meet him. That's me. That's him. And I swear this isn't Photoshopped. <laughs> I wept. Vivid language. I wept. Um, yeah, y'all, I love Mr. NDT. Um, so being able to meet him was like literally one of the highlights of my life. And then a fun fact about me, I am Flipgrid level three certified. So I went through um, all these kind of little hoops and little challenges uh, to be able to be Flipgrid level three certified, which is the highest level of Flipgrid certification. So it's so cool. I love Flipgrid. I love me some Flipgrid. Um, so notice how I like uploaded my badge. I wrote a little thing. I uploaded a picture of me, I wrote something, um, and y'all can edit this. So like you can change the background color. I want emphasis too, so I want it to be black instead. Um, I can go in here and I can make it bold, I can make it italic, I can make it smaller, I can make it bigger. Um, you can add emojis, notice all my little emojis. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool and pretty easy to use. Um, and then you can kind of pick different layouts. So if you look over here to the right, I can pick whatever different layouts I want. So if I kind of want to add some more pictures maybe about heroes that I, I admire, um, I can do that. And then also you can click on this, I can delete it, and then I can click on it and I can upload a picture. So it's very user friendly and it's pretty easy to kind of maneuver. Um, and same thing, you can go here and adjust for readability so it changes the font a little. I can go here and I can change the color. Um, so let's say I don't want the blue and gold. You can make it yours. Make it make it you. I want to see your personality, your pizzazz. Um, and then that's it. I'm not going to show you the bottom because um, that's all you'll have to do is that first part. So that needs to be passed in. And then what you do to get the share link is you come right up here. You have to publish it first, but y'all should have done that yesterday. So you hit publish. Um, and then it gives you this link. You have to select GCISD, Grapevine Colleyville, so that we all can see it. And then once it's published, you hit this little paper clip right up here. And then it pops up this little box. And you hit copy link. And then you can go in and you can submit it through Canvas. So I'm going to show you all how to do that. Only thing is, so sorry, I have to go back home. Not home, home. Home on this. Um, to hit student view. <clears throat> so I'm going to hit student view so I can show you all what it looks like from your eyes, which is pretty cool. And then I'm going to get my student view if my computer ever decides to work for me. And yeah, let's just sit and look at the water for a minute. Little mindfulness. Okay, awesome. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna hit week two. So remember, this is how you access uh, what we're doing for the modules. And I'm gonna go down to Thursday in my seventh period or this is gonna be Friday's work in my fourth and fifth period. And then I'm gonna to go to Avid um, Assignment eBinder Submission. And then here's what y'all are gonna do. You are going to submit this as a website URL. So let me make sure that this is set up right. So yeah, no, this is set up as a page. So I am going to eBinder link right here, that's why. So you're gonna type your first and last name. So let's pretend like I'm real life student. Brown, comma, Gina. I am in seventh period. And then here are the steps to insert your link. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And I'm going to hit submit. And I'm going to wait for my confetti. There's going to be no confetti, y'all, because it's not an assignment. Duh, it's a page. Oh, I want my confetti. 
Um, and then you're going to hit next. And then you're going to move on to the next part. And then I think after that, y'all, I think that was pretty much all we did today. And then we did conferences. Um, so here is a little video about how to submit your eBinder if you're struggling. So you can log into Safari, hit sign in with Google, um, and then hit refresh. And then that Safari video should come up. It's going to be a little different for me because I'm in student view. Um, so I can't do a lot of stuff in student view. So that's just kind of a little trick. Um, I apologize. Here it is. So how to publish or submit your eBinder. So you can watch Miss Richards um, do a little short video about how to do that just in case you're struggling a little bit. So click on this. And then here we go. Here's our girl, Miss Richards. And then you're going to watch her quick. Hello, her quick. I don't know how long it is. A couple minutes. I can't see. Yeah, two and a half minutes. So you're going to watch her quick two and a half minute video in case you're struggling and you want to um, see how to submit your eBinder link, which is pretty awesome. And then, y'all, like I always do, I put that kind of whoop, whoop, you're done. So that way, you know, you feel confident that you did everything you're supposed to do. Um, little dance move there. I love that. And then we're going to do a virtual gallery walk tomorrow in my seventh period. And then my fourth and fifth period, we are going to do what I just showed you today. And we're going to do the virtual gallery walk on Monday. Um, so yeah, y'all, that was it. I hope you had a great week. If this is your Friday, you're watching this. And I hope you have a restful weekend. And yeah, y'all, I can't wait to see each and every one of you tomorrow or Monday, whenever it may be. And I really can't wait until I get to see y'all in person. Oh, I'm going to cry just thinking about it, y'all. I'm so excited. I can't wait. Okay, y'all. I love each and every one of you so much. Adios, hasta la vega, sai chen, avida zen, au revoir, namaste. I need to learn a couple more. I feel like I should have twice as many goodbyes. Okay, love y'all. You fill my buckets each and every day so much, so it's overflowing. Bye, y'all.